night of sideshow chaos in Oakland with gunshots and car fires. But residents say what's different this time is that it ended with a big response from the police. As Don Lynn is about to show us, we even have video of someone intentionally ramming a police car. From West Oakland to East Oakland, Sideshow participants took over at least six major intersections early Sunday morning. Police say people spun donuts, fired shots into the air, and even set a couple of cars on fire. Some of the participants mocked parents with this sign that reads, drive like your kids live here. But the real fireworks happened at the intersection of High Street and Foothill Boulevard around 4.30 a.m. As drivers were burning rubber and laughing at the cops, dozens and dozens of officers were coordinating and blocking off all the escape routes. It all unfolded in front of neighbor Debbie Wilson's house. I applaud them. I applaud them. They need to arrest them and keep them in there. The 65-year-old says the monthly sideshows near her house hurt her health. She recently had a stroke. I take seizure medication. I've been having strokes and seizures. So this kind of chaos I don't need around me. It terrorizes me and it scares me. Neighbors say it's dangerous for everyone. They crash sometimes really close to our house. Like for example, that the neighbor's house right there, they crashed into the gate and made like a big dent in it. And I'm worried, I was like, what if they crash into my house? You know? As police started ticketing participants and spectators, some drivers found a narrow pathway out of the blockades. Officers quickly used a patrol car to block that route. A short time later, one driver drove a white Infinity into two police cars to leave the area. He wasn't done. That driver returned to challenge the officers. One officer appeared to fire some kind of non-lethal projectile to scare the driver away. Other participants tried to leave, but didn't get very far. Officers arrested several drivers and cited a lot of spectators. They also impounded a number of cars. Pay can pay. Yeah. We paying, we suffering, yeah. make them pay. What impressed me is they not only came, they cited the, those that are in the middle of the sideshows and they arrested other people. Councilman Noel Gallo says typically the cops just disperse the crowds and let them go. Neighbors ask, why can't the cops do this every time? The response I get, well, we don't have enough officers. Well, we don't have, you know, enough money in overtime to pay for officers to be here. Police say it can be very dangerous, especially when they're outnumbered by the large crowds. Aside from hitting police cars, some of the participants set two cars on fire, likely stolen. As for Debbie, she says shut them down for her health and the health of the city. I'm from the old school and I'm from the south. They want to shoot and fight somebody and want to drive crazy, send them to the army. Give them an ultimatum. A lot of the neighbors did not want to go on camera. They worried about retaliation, but they say Miss Debbie Wilson spoke their mind. They added one more thing, saying the cops cannot arrest their way out of the problem. They say the parents have to do a better job and get more involved with these young people. Okay, thank you, Daw. Oakland police have not released the number of citations or towed cars from the morning sideshows.